Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Take a look at this photo right here. 18 anniversary of 9-11 marked by Remembrance Ceremony at World Trade Center site. New York City and millions around the country are commemorating 9-11 with memorial ceremonies, volunteering appeals to never forget, and drawing attention to the terror attacks continued toll on responders. A crowd of victims, relatives, descended on Ground Zero in Lower Manhattan today, while President Donald Trump joined in a observance at the Pentagon, and Vice President Mike Pence spoke at the third attack site near Shakespeareville, Pennsylvania. The events of that terrible day, and weeks, months, and years that followed, are never forgotten, nor are the memories of those killed by terrorists in hijacked planes. Additionally, we remember all those who have died from 9-11 related illnesses, from their work at Ground Zero, and those who suffer today. The victims' names were again read aloud at the Ground Zero ceremony, where moments of silence and tolling bells mark the moments when the aircraft crashed and the trade center's twin towers fell. September 11 still shapes American policy, politics, and everyday experience in places from airports to office buildings, and even if it's less of a consent presence in the public after 18 years. The 9-11 commemorations are by now families retilos, but each year at Ground Zero, victims, relatives infuse the ceremony with personal messages of remembrance, inspiration, and concern. After so many years of anniversaries, she has come to know other victims, relatives, and to appreciate being with them. Beginning this year, will there will be a moment of silence at all public schools in New York State to mark the 9-11 anniversary under a new bill signed into law. Given that most students today were born after the attacks, the bill's sponsors hope that by pausing to reflect, future generations will never forget. President Trump laid a wreath during a ceremony at the Pentagon. Pence spoke at the ceremony of the Flight 93, credited the crew in passengers who fought back against hijackers with protecting the U.S. The Flight 93 National Memorial marks the site where, near Shakersville, where the plane went down at 10.03 a.m. after passengers fought back. Officials concluded the attacks had aimed the Boeing 757 toward Washington, D.C. For families like Marianne Marino's, 18 years has not lessened our loss, she told those gathered at Ground Zero after she read part of the long list of victims' names. She lost her son, firefighter Kenneth Marino. Another person choked up as she spoke from the podium about her slain sister 
even after nearly two decades. There's no easy way to say goodbye, she said. By now, the heritage of grief has been handed down to new generations, including children and young adults who knew their lost relatives barely or not at all. Jacob Campbell was 10 months old when his mother, Jill Campbell, died on 9-11. September 11 has become known also as a day of service, with people around the country volunteering at food banks, schools, home building projects, park cleanups, and other charitable endeavors on the near the anniversary. And that does it for my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your evening. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for another news report. Good night and bye.